on his quality. There's a staple. That's not too bad. Really? Really say it might be worth. So we've we've lettered. Have you numbered the parts? Are you just going to? Oh, there. I suppose it's the same thing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I've done them. Yeah. So we've lettered the seams up. Now we're going to pick it apart and make patterns for it, aren't we, Karen? Yes, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Karen. <laughs> So this is attempt number one. Uh, it's not gone particularly, it's not gone badly, but it's not gone well either. We've managed to kind of sew in a, what do you call it, a plate? A plate, yeah. A plate. Um, and dealing with this compound curve, you can't really see it on the video, but we're trying to get this shape sewn into this shape, and they don't exactly line up perfectly. You've got to kind of bend it round and curve it round. And so we're struggling with the material slipping as mm, we're... Yeah as you're sewing. So we've gone a little bit off piste on the back. So Karen is going to play around with this tomorrow. She's yeah. actually going to cut it back to our cut line, see if that makes any difference. So yeah. that black line is is the actual outline of the original piece. Uh, we've gone oversized to give us allowances, but it might actually be causing us problems. Yeah. So you're going to have a play with it? Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. going to have a play with it. And then um, we're going to regroup possibly tomorrow. Yeah. And then hopefully yeah. you'll have thrown your toys out of the pram by then. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah, can move on. But we've got enough material for about three attempts, so it, it's really not really a big deal. Not. It's yeah. just just your time I'm worried about, Karen. No, I, I, I love the colours. They look great on yeah, film. No, you didn't want to be on camera, I did you? <laughs> uh, there she is. Um, yeah, yeah so... So when it does go... It's so when it, when it works well, it looks, looks really, really good. good. Um, it's just it's just that we've got to work on basically getting stopping it slipping and getting the shape right. Yeah. Cool. Fantastic. Thank you, Karen. So are we saying this is the prototype then, Karen? Yeah. The Mark One. I'll do another one. And see. Although to be honest, I I think we'd get away with using this one. But if you, if yeah. you if you'd well, like to practice on another one. If I do another one, then you've got a second one to see which one comes up. Yeah. Yeah, which was the better one? But I think you've done a superb job. You've done an absolutely brilliant job. But definitely, I think you'll need gluing, wouldn't it? Yeah, po possibly just reinforcing just, just, uh, yeah. on the threads, but the, thread. the danger is that it wicks through and you end up with it coming oh, through the other side. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I mean, if we make a second one, Karen, I say we, the royal we, yeah. uh, make a second one, um, then, uh, you know, if, if the first one doesn't work, we can resort to the second one and see. I'm very aware that I've done absolutely zero sewing on this, and... Um, I would like to know what it feel, you know, what it's like to actually oh, stitch yeah. some fabric. So how am I doing, Karen? I'm doing very well, Richard. <laughs> very good learner. You were. I'm going to sew my fingers to this thing in a minute. No. Ooh, I've got a pin in my belt. Yeah. Pesky pins. Otherwise, it's a bit start stop. Yep. Seems you don't trust me to sew over the pins. <laughs> you can try. I know. I don't. I don't. I don't want to break the needle. That would be a disaster. Huh? Now here's the tricky bit. We're at the the seam between just, the two. Should I just plow through that then? I'll, yeah. Do um, I hold it down a bit. Just or? a sec. Uh, what What you can do is try and open the seam up oh flatten it down flatten inside. it out on... it might come back on us it'll be easier that way yeah that's that... fine then is that okay yeah that's fine and i'll go slowly and yeah it, it'll go fine it'll go through it oh the shoe just right over the top of it, yeah right? yeah we'll do ah. All... it's got to be really thick for it to not go through it A shout out to Julie because I know what she puts up with now making all Andy seat covers. <laughs> so uh, yeah, respect to her. <laughs> She's definitely got the harder job of the uh, restoration side of things. Yeah. We're nearly there. Like that? Yep. 
Brilliant. Excellent. There we go. And there is the finished article. Let's see what this looks like. That's good. Excellent. Yeah. And the best thing about this, Karen, is nobody will ever see this part. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's quite straight for me. Yeah, it's good. Excellent. Good. Well done. Spend some time just making sure this is all pulled up correctly and even, and then I'll come back. Right, we've got the seat cover about even, and now it's time to tack this cover into place. And I'm going to start at the back because it wants to slip forward when I let go of it, and I want to get the back just right. So I'm going to put one staple in with my new toy this is not a toy I'm going to put a couple in just to hold it yeah. maybe I've got too much power just blasted right through the whole thing I'll be back ok take two Yeah, I've got it set to the minimum pressure to actually cut through the vinyl. So I'm going to do it again, but at a lower pressure. I might just slide over. A couple in. Yeah, see that's gone right through as well. This is an unexpected issue. We're slowly cutting our way through this thing. Right. Gotta be careful. That's a better pressure. Better. Plug it in. Been a lot of misfires. I don't know why. So every other shot is a misfire. Okay, so so far I'm not that impressed with the staple gun. It seems to misfire one in every shot. Whether that will improve or not, I don't know, but I'll have to keep an eye on that. So many misfires, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm going to work my way around a bit. You don't want to see all this. Okay, we're making progress. The gun has loosened up. I think it was just new gun syndrome. Um, the misfires have pretty much dropped down to almost zero now. Um, so I'm pretty much on the last knockings, bottom corners, I'm just trying to work out, I'm going to have to have a bit of a pleat in the corner, but I'm just trying to work out how best to staple that in. So 
Yeah, I think it's the camera. Every time I point the camera at this thing, it misses. Uh, Right. It's looking even, nice and tight. Big rubby, I've got my fingerprints all over it. Now I'm just going to go round and add extra staples and uh, make sure this thing doesn't pull off when I sit on it. So I've put in an excessive amount of staples. There is some pleating going on here, but to be honest, I think there was on the original seat. Just the way it forms around the curves. And there are hundreds of staples in there. They're slightly smaller than the originals, but they are um, stainless steel ones this time, so they shouldn't rust. Um, they should outlive the seat cover, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, fitting is fairly straightforward. Once the gun stopped malfunctioning, I think it just needed bedding in a bit. Um, it's been a lot, lot easier. I had to dial the pressure down to about 30 or 40 psi because any higher and it just cuts straight through the vinyl so that was a steep learning curve I should have brought some scraps with me to uh, practice on first but uh, yeah so that was okay but here is and I was about to say my beautiful seat cover but here is Karen's beautiful seat cover um, she is responsible for the majority of this work and without whom I could not have done it um, or if I did, it would look like a dog's breakfast. But yeah, I am really impressed with this. Um, Karen has been really enthusiastic, almost, well, I say enthusiastic, she's made two of these and possibly might even be making a third as we speak uh, if she hasn't had enough of it. So yeah, I think it's tested her patience um, and without her skill, I don't think we'd have been able to do it. So a big, a huge thank you to Karen. Um, so yeah, so I guess now, it's time to fit it onto the bike. Side note, the um, the stapler I bought was about £56 um, online. Um, yeah, I, I was a bit annoyed with it to start with because uh, we had so many misfires, but um, once, uh, once it had been used, once I put about 50 staples through it, maybe a bit less, it suddenly started functioning pretty well. So perhaps it was a little bit tight on the return. I think there's a little piston that has to come all the way back and uh, Maybe take a little bit of bedding in. They might have been packed with grease in there. Maybe taking a little while to clear some of the excess. But yeah, um, now it's working. It seems to work really nicely. My only my only criticism of it is there's no safety guard on it. So every time you press the trigger, it fires. There's no um, you don't have to press it against something in order to arm it. Once it's plugged into the air, it's armed. So um, safety goggles and you know try not to leave it facing your work because if you bump it, you might end up with a staple somewhere you don't want it. But yeah, so that was tack wise. It was about 56 quid, something like that, um, plus eight pound for 20,000 staples, um, which is about 19,900 more than I needed. But uh, we've got them for 101 other jobs. One seat cover and one finished bike. I know the colour of the seat doesn't exactly match the bike, but it is as close as I could get it. And to be honest, it doesn't look awful. Except for maybe my fingerprints on it and need cleaning off. But yeah, that is the finished piece, the finished article. I need to do a final video just to um, do a recap and just uh, showcase the before and afters. A money shot. And then I think we'll call this project put to bed. I did talk about decals. I'm still in two minds whether to uh, to name it. But uh, she is affectionately known as Atomic Snot. A name I think she will keep. So yeah. So um, let me know what you think. Should I get some decals made for it? Won't be anything special. Maybe a name. A name for the tank here. Perhaps. Possibly. If we can get it small enough on that little piece there um, or maybe on the uprights here on the front fender but uh, yeah she's done other than that good clean some photographs final video 
and I think we're there. What do you think? Time for another project? Something too strokey? <laughs> you didn't like the idea of two stroke? Well, I do. And thanks to Nimbus for all her help, sitting on seats and uh, generally being about. Yes, that was a big up to you. Hmm? You gonna do another project with me? Are you? You're quite a good mechanics buddy, aren't you? Hmm? Alright, look at that magnificent tail. Something special, that tail. <laughs>